25 years, we've served customers in Boilermaker country, and we want to serve you with pre-owned vehicles from $29.50 and up. Online at Twin City Superstore. The time you came here for the 1960s to put it back tradition had taken hold. Did you actually come here because of all the outstanding credit box, or what were the influential factors that led you to do this? Is that question again? You know, Jim writes this stuff, so I'm doing the best that I can here, but what led you choose for the open You know, I, I grew up in Evansville, Indiana. Um, I, was, I was a baseball player first. Secondly, I was a basketball player. And thirdly, I went to a Catholic high school that was just starting, brand new, when I was a freshman. So we got to, and I wasn't a very good football player. But when I got to be a senior, there was only, my dad was a plumber, so I wasn't going to go to, college, you know, I'm not going to send me to college, so I had two offers uh, when I was a senior, one from Indiana and one from Purdue, you know, of course. <laughs> I never heard any about the Cato quarterbacks or DeMarts or Samuels or anybody like that. I just came here to get a good education. It was my only choice. I mean, I, you know, I wasn't going the other place. <laughs> you went to the Rose Bowl under head coach Jack Lowenthal. Tell us about your Rose Bowl experience. Um, it was great. You know, it was, um, I remember the game in, in Seal Day in, in Minnesota. It was a nice day up there. It was cold. And the one that had, who had never been to the Rose Bowl. And um, uh, it was great. Uh, it was really special. You, uh, obviously, if so many fa football fans know of your time with the Miami Dolphins and the great undefeated uh, season in 1972, uh, what would you rank as your career highlight in pro football? Uh, uh, there's, there's no question that, um, you know, I, mean, I think the one thing that you and Lenny and I all have in common is that um, we're team-oriented. sports, if it's football, is the Super Bowl. And we all got to the Super Bowl, and that's got to be the highlight uh, of a career. Uh, we got there and we lost the first one, but then uh, we won the next two. So if you ask me my highlights uh, from a professional career, uh, it was the Super Bowl. And, and, and Drew, the word to you is, the three words, back to back. You've been back here as a color commentator for ABC and ESPN. Your son Brian played at Michigan. Uh, when you think about Michigan, and certainly when you think about Purdue, do you find it difficult to, to be neutral in your broadcasting? Well, that's one thing I've always been able to do is look at the other side. You know, my wife got, sometimes gets mad at me for um, saying, "Oh, you're always looking at the other opinion on the other side." But I can always, uh, you know, I was doing a Michigan-Ohio State game, and you know how that rivalry is. And Gordon Gee, um, Gordon Gee is back at, at Ohio State as the president, and he always came up to the booth when Keith and I, Keith Jackson and I were doing the game uh, at halftime because he'd always want to get on on halftime, you know. That's the way Gordon Gee was. And so anyway, he wrote me a note the following week when Brian was playing for Michigan at Ohio State, and he congratulated me on being fair. He says, one of my provosts and vice presidents watched the game on television, and you actually uh, commented that what a fair job I did. I said, that's what I'm supposed to do. You know, even if it's my son. I told Brian, I said, good news and bad news. I said, the good news is your dad's going to get to see you play. And the bad news is that color commentator in the booth is not going to give you a fair shake. You've been broadcasting for 29 years. Uh, well, compare your playing career versus broadcasting and the different satisfaction that each has brought you. It's a lot safer in the booth. You're never wrong. You never make a mistake. But it's, uh, it's fun. It's been great. Uh, it, you know, I was telling the high school kids earlier, I said, when I was, when I was growing up in Evansville, you know, people say, did you always want to be in the NFL? Well, I, you know, in the NFL, I, I never knew where 
I never knew where I was going to, I knew where I was going to go to high school. But I had no idea where I was going to go to college. And then they say, well, did you always want to be an All-American? No. I got here, and I was the, the 10th or 11th quarterback when I got here. I couldn't throw the ball through that, through that window over there, you know? Bob D. Moss, Cecil Isabel, or Bob D. Moss name it is, and he's the guy that started all this cradle of quarterback business, all these quarterbacks. He's the guy that gets the credit for doing all that. But, um, um,
first flag ball team. I couldn't do that. So it's it's very special for me to get back and to see everybody get back to Purdue because Purdue did a lot for me. And um, I, I just want everybody to know that, and I appreciate it. Drew, good luck to you. Uh, Mark, congratulations. We'll see you in New York.